Welcome, welcome to a John Leg Fragrance Review. You know what? I love your company. I'm so pleased you've come to this channel. If you could take the time to do the thumbs up and if you could subscribe, I would be pleased, I'd be honoured, and I'd be so grateful. Thank you very much. Right, okay, we're going to talk about two legends, two sincere legends today. Okay, first of all, we're going to talk about Tom Ford, you know, that crazy fashion designer who puts out an immense amount of phenomenal fragrances. You know, nine times out of ten, Tom Ford's fragrances are quite sort of basic. It's like tobacco vanilla. It's basically got tobacco note and a vanilla note with a few other bits and pieces. But you know what? He... <laughs> The crazy thing is, it doesn't matter what fragrance you smell from Tom Ford, and he's probably got sort of 25, 30, 40 fragrances. They are always amazing. They're unique. They stand out from the crowd. They project well. They last well. And you know what? You are going to get noticed wearing Tom Ford. Okay. So, <clears throat> the second legend we're going to talk about is Copycat U. Okay. Now, I've talked about this manufacturer of copied perfumes before, and they won my heart with the uh, Baccarat. Now, I mentioned back in the day, uh, uh, six months or so ago, when I did the review, that the bottle was a little bit sort of, it had a sort of a white label on it, um, and the, the bag that it came in didn't really fit. Now, you know what? These guys have changed. The bag is more than capable of fitting the fragrance in there, and they've changed to a much classier a label look at that okay so maybe they listen to me right so today's fragrance it, we're going to look at tom ford black orchid okay now when it's called black orchid you kind of think it's going to be mysterious it really is and it's not a straightforward simple fragrance it's a very very complex fragrance okay you know in other words there's an awful lot of stuff going on in this fragrance. It's not just tobacco vanilla. It's a load. There's probably best part of sort of 15, 18 uh, ingredients in this fragrance. And they're all sort of firing off at different times. Okay, so what do you get with Black Orchid? Now, I have never owned a bottle, but I've had a sample in the past, so I'm familiar with the scent. But essentially, what you get is some crazy sort of floral notes. And there's things like uh, jasmine, there's obviously orchid in there, and there's a few of the sort of fruity florally notes over the top of some earthy notes, your patchoulis and your ambers and that sort of thing. Okay? It's almost like a Jekyll and Hyde because half of this fragrance is your nice florals and then half of it is your earthy sort of gothic sort of smell. Okay, do I like the fragrance? You know what? I love it. But there is a sticking point because for the first hour or so, it's very, very floral. Initially, for the first hour of projection, you are going to smell kind of very feminine but it's not okay so it's difficult to sort of describe it it's not your sort of taylor swift sort of feminine it's your sort of gothic grandma sort of smell i don't know if i'm describing this right okay after the first hour of the scent it dries down to the sort of earthy sort of scent okay now for me that's the point at which it becomes a lot more accepted as a masculine scent. Okay, it is, I believe, it's manufactured as a unisex. But I say for the first hour, most guys are going to say, you know what, it's not for me, it's far too feminine, it's just not a guy's sort of scent. But deal with that first hour, be brave, go through that first hour, and you end up with the earthy scent. Now, for me, and this is going to sound crazy, it's a bit like you've got a Terry's chocolate orange, you melted it and you smeared it on your skin. You're left with that sort of earthy, chocolatey orange sort of scent. Okay? And it is good. Okay, it's better than good. It's amazing. Now, I say I haven't got a bottle of Tom Ford, so I can't spray that and talk about that. But I have got the copycat version. I say they've even put 
a list of ingredients on the back. Look at that. So um, uh, six months ago, they weren't doing that. So we've now got that. So it's obviously an inspired by Black Orchid. They're not allowed to say this is Tom Ford, you know, Black Orchid. So they just call it Orchid. OK, so where is your Tom Ford for 100 mil? And I believe he does an EDT and an EDP, Eau de Toilette and an Eau de Puffium. So he does two strengths. I think for your sort of average sort of price for 100 mil, it's going to cost you between 180 to 200 pounds. You're talking big money fragrance, which most of Tom Fords are. They're kind of worth it if you've got that sort of money. But if you want to spend between sort of 45 and 50 pound, get yourself on Copycat UK and buy, 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 buy the orchid. Okay, shall we spray it? And let's find out how Copycat UK do with copying this legendary fragrance. Helps if I find which way the spray is going to go. You know what? This bad boy is as strong as the original Tom Ford. And I've sort of used it for a week, just over a week actually. Worn it every day for a week. And people smell it on you. Now you're gonna get two reactions. You're gonna get some people say, that doesn't smell right, that smells a little bit old school, a little bit like your grandma. And then you're going to get some guys who perhaps appreciate fragrances more going, oh, actually, I respect that. OK, initially, like I say, the floral notes go mental. And that's the point at which most guys would say, unisex, come on, give it time, give it maybe an hour. And then you'll go, I get it. It is unisex. You're still going to get some floral sort of wifty notes, but the earthy notes come through and it takes it from really quite feminine to really quite masculine. OK. What age group could wear this? A teenager, personally, I don't think a teenager could wear this. OK, I think this is for your maybe 30 year old plus male and female because it's a, it is unisex. <sighs> what season? OK, now I always say if you like a fragrance, just wear it all year round. Does it matter what season? Really, this is actually able to deal with all year round. I know some fragrances are really for the colder months and some are for the summer months. This one, I say, if you like it and you've got the confidence to wear it, because that's the thing. OK, so if you're a woman wearing this, that's perfectly acceptable. But if you're a guy, I'm going to say to you, I respect you for wearing this, for going through that initial uh -uh stage and getting to the stage where it is really unisex. So you've got to be 30 plus to wear this. You've got to have a lot of confidence and you've got to be an appreciator of Tom Ford because this is not like your Packer Rabanne. It's not like your Armani code. It really is a different way out there fragrance. OK. It projects well and it lasts well. And that I'm talking about the copycat version now because I haven't got the Tom Ford to compare it with anymore. But I remember back in the day when I had a sample, it did really well in terms of performance. This copycat, I'm getting sort of five, six hours of good projection and like a scent bubble around you. Now, for me, when I spent under just under £50, that for me is phenomenal value for money. So... Once again, Copycat UK have done it. Josh and his team have put together an incredible copy of Tom Ford's phenomenal fragrance, Black Orchid. OK, so you now get a classy label and you now get a little velvet bag which accommodates the whole bottle instead of poking out the top. So my recommendation to you is OK, maybe don't just go and order 100 mil because this is kind of like a Marmite sense. You're either going to love it or you're going to be turned off by it. OK, 
and they do for about sort of four or five pound they do a little sort of five or ten mil sample and there's no postage involved so you're not going to lose anything order a sample try it and i think you will go you know what this is different enough this is incredible enough and this is definitely unisex enough to actually have it maybe as your signature scent because it's completely different to all the other stuff out there okay so that's my recommendation copycat uk right so let's just recap it is a phenomenal scent and if you've got the money, go and buy the proper Tom Ford one. But if you want to save some money and have something which, in my opinion, is a bang on copy and a bang on performance monster, get the Copycat UK. Right. Thank you for listening to this video. Thank you for coming to this channel. Like I say, if you could do the thumbs up and if you could subscribe, I would be so pleased, so honoured and so grateful. So stay safe, stay happy, spray fragrance, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.